The following recording was recorded on the 6th of May at 6.51 p.m. The original intended video was a documentary on Dust 2, Grenade Placements, and Team Placement. The next, the following footage has been unedited and not altered in any way. For your discretion advised, the following scenes may be disturbing for younger audiences. If you have any information on how to solve this conspiracy and help the world, please contact at 1-800-TOTALLY-NOT-A-SCAM. Hey guys, Little Break here. Today is a new video and a different video. Today I'm going to talk about some Dust 2 callouts, and I know I haven't uploaded in like a few days, I've just had some issues with some internet, and I've had to scrap a different video. Sorry if I sound a little puffed out, I've just been doing some stuff and I'm a little worn out from it, and other things like that. So today I'm going to show you some nice grenade spots on Dust 2. I decided to not do this in game, I decided to do it through this, so I can easily show you mapping out, and people's position positions are a lot easier. So I'm going to use the yellow as the grenade spots and the red as the player movement. Now typically when you start you're going to have all your team here. You're, there's six people, typically you'd have five. So they'll all spawn here. Typically you'd always have someone AWP down mid here and they'll check mid. Checking mid is really good as you can always see if there's a CT down here and see how many of them cross. Typically on pistol rounds they'll usually send one person here and there'll be the other four in here. A good thing to do is when you do rush, go down here, jump down here, go into B tunnels. Now while you're in here, you're going to want to throw a flashbang typically. Throw a flashbang through here onto that wall and it should bounce out into here. If well enough, should easily flash everyone in this area. Which is really nice. This is a basic grenade tactic which I have used for a long time. Tech 9 rush B is my specialty. Now, another good tactic is over at spawn here. While you're at spawn, you can easily jump and throw a smoke grenade down onto the boxes here, which would smoke mid, making it so they can't see you or AWP you when you're doing a good old going up here. You can always just head up here and check your things out and go up A short to go onto A site where you can plant the bomb. Now another good tactic is to use a Molotov around here. If you put a Molotov, you can, if you get around, I think it's this spot here. You can throw a Molotov all the way over to here and burn the area at cars. So then they can't do anything with cars. I've only ever managed to do the car spot like once. I've always seemed to always hit on one of those two walls up here. It's always bounced around here. But if you can manage to do it right, Congratulations. I never seem to be able to do it. Wait. Did you guys did you guys see that? No, this this can't be right. No no. No no this then no this can't be. Is that what I think it is? No. No, it can't it can't be. It can't be. No, no, it, it actually can't be. This is impossible. It it doesn't make sense. Why, why is this in the game? This doesn't make sense, is it? It's, it's never been like this. It's always... Oh, God. It all, it all makes sense now. Half-Life 3. Oh, God, no. Don't tell me. Oh, no. Oh. This is, this is much worse than I thought it was. Oh, no. Gaben is plotting Half-Life 3 with a reverse Nazi conspiracy. It'll make sense now. Half-Life 3 being delayed. The, the, the people still worshipping Nazis in the world. This is Dust 2 being a stupidly overplayed map. It all makes sense. And it's all... It's all right in the centre of Xbox. Microsoft has something to do with this as well, with the Nazi Half-Life 3 conspiracy. Oh god, guys, this is, this is, I can't anymore, I'm, I, I, I can't, this is, this is too big for me, I'm, uh, if it, I'm ending the video here, this is, I'm deleting this as soon as I'm done, this is, I'm, this is stupid, why would they do this, this is, a sh no,